In this question, we're given um, two pieces of information. A raindrop has a mass of 50 milligrams, and the Pacific Ocean has a mass of 7.08 times 10 to the 20 kilograms. And then we're asked two questions. What is the mass of one mole of raindrops? And then how many moles of raindrops are in the Pacific Ocean? So essentially, the easiest way to do this is to solve the first question first and then use that information to solve the second question. So we want to know the mass of one mole of raindrops. So as a plan of attack, we want to go from moles of raindrops, even though there's only one. Then we want to find the number of raindrops, if you will. Then, because we can't convert directly to grams, we want to find the milligrams of raindrops in one mole. And then finally, we want to find the grams of raindrops in the one mole. So this is kind of our plan of attack. So first, we need to convert moles of raindrops to number of raindrops. Well, we know Avogadro's number. Avogadro's number is like a dozen. You can have a dozen eggs or a dozen donuts or a dozen bagels. You can have 12 of any of them. Moles are the same. You can have 6.022 times 10 to the 23 of anything. We usually use it with atoms but and, and molecules, but in this case, we're actually gonna use it for raindrops. So in this case, one mole of raindrops equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23 raindrops. We now need an equality that converts from number of raindrops to milligrams of raindrops. Well, we have that up here. Each raindrop has a mass of 50 milligrams. So one raindrop equals 50 milligrams. And then finally, we need a conversion between milligrams and grams, and this is a, a standard conversion. 1,000 milligrams equals one gram. So we have our plan of attack, and now we have an equality for each piece of our plan of attack. So now starting with one mole of raindrops times, we have to decide if one mole or 6.022 times 10 to the 23 raindrops goes on the bottom. Since we want moles to cancel out, we want to put moles on the bottom. So one mole of raindrops on the bottom in the denominator. And Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23 raindrops on top or in the numerator times. For our next conversion, we want to go, we, we have number of raindrops to milligrams of raindrops, and we know that one raindrop is 50 milligrams. Well, we want raindrops to cancel out. So we put one raindrop on the bottom and 50 milligrams on top. Finally, we want to convert those milligrams to grams. Since we want milligrams to cancel out, we put the thousand milligrams on the bottom and one gram on the top. When you do this in the calculator, you get 3.011 times 10 to the 22, move that over a little bit, grams, but because 50 milligrams is one significant figure, we're gonna do 3.0 times 10 to the 22 grams. So this gives us the mass of one mole of raindrops. I'm gonna move this up a little bit, and I do wanna show you how to actually type this in on the calculator. And I'm gonna use two different brands of calculators. So in the first case, I'm going to use the Casio calculator here 
to show you how to enter this equation. So first, we want to multiply by the tops, divide by the bottom, multiply by the top, divide by the bottom. And if they're 1, you don't need to bother to do that. So in this case, we have 1 mole here. So we don't technically need to do that, or we can just do 1 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23. When you have scientific notation on a Casio calculator, you want to type this in as 6.022, hit this 10 to the x button, and then type in 23. Notice that the 10 to the x appeared on the screen by me hitting this button. I don't push the times or the 10 in there because that will mess up the order of operations. We then want to divide it by 1. You don't need to bother doing that. Then we want to multiply by 50 times 50. Divide by 1, you don't need to bother doing that. Multiply by 1, you don't need to do bother doing that. And then divide by 1,000. Like so, hit enter, and you get 3.011 times 10 to the 22 grams, the same as we got here. I want to repeat this using a Texas Instruments calculator. These are not the only calculators that students may have, but these are the two most popular. So these are the ones that I uh, would like to show you. So in this case, we're going to do 6.022. And on a, Texas, on a Texas Instruments calculator, we hit the second button and we hit this EE. And this puts an E on the screen. Notice that I hit the EE key and only one E showed up. That's okay. That's the times 10 part. So we just, that makes up this times 10, and then we enter the 23. So we get 6.022, second EE, only one of E appears, then we put in 23. Divide by one, we don't need to bother doing that. Multiply by 50, we're good. Divide by one, we don't need to bother doing that. Multiplying by one, we don't need to bother doing that. And then divide by 1,000 hit enter and now we get 3.011 if you can see that times 10 to the 22. So that was how you would do this on a Texas Instruments calculator. We now have a new equality and that new equality is that one mole of raindrops equals 3.0 to uh, times 10 to the 22 grams. So let me just rewrite that because it's a little bit messy. 3.0 times 10 to the 22 grams. So now we want, and it says, how many moles of raindrops are in the Pacific Ocean? And we're given the mass of the water in the Pacific Ocean. So what we want to do is we want to do kilograms, because we're given this mass of water in grams. We want to convert that to grams. And then finally, we want to convert it to moles of raindrops. So here is our plan of attack. Well, kilograms to grams has a known equality. 1,000 grams equals one kilogram. And grams to moles of raindrops has an equality that we just figured out in the first part. One mole of raindrops equals 3.0 times 10 to the 22 grams. So now we have that equality that we can use to solve this part of the equation. So starting with 7.08 times 10 to the 20 kilograms times, we want kilograms to cancel out. So we put our one kilogram on the bottom, 1,000 grams on the top like that times now we want grams to cancel out so we put 3.0 times 10 to the 22 grams because we want to go from grams to moles of raindrops and on top one mole of raindrops multiply by the top divide by the bottom multiply by the top divide by the bottom and when you do all that work you find that there are 23.6 moles of raindrops which we want to round to two uh, significant figures because this is only two significant figures so we can put 24 moles of raindrops. 
Now quickly, I want to show you also how to enter this equation on the calculator. So I'm just going to move it up like that. I'm going to bring back in 